for a semi-maiden voyage with the new creation here. Uh, still currently nameless, juggling a few options here, but I wanted to give you a rundown on uh, what this thing consists of before I actually take it for a run. So the chassis and the transmission are out of a gatekeeper. The axles are Capra. Um, it's got a Holmes 21 turn, I believe. Um, right now it's rocking the 1080 because that's the only thing I had available. Uh, that will be swapped out to a ESC 70 at the earliest convenience. Uh, and then it's got the body off of my Ecto, obviously. And I'm running the uh, Proline Crawlers, which I normally run on the Ecto. Um, I wanted to see how this thing compares. Uh, today's run will essentially be a suspension test run. Um, I can already tell that I'm going to need to keep that front end sucked down a little bit because on a vertical climb it's unloading pretty bad uh, but we'll give it a run and see how it does uh, aside from that um, I did get rid of the trailing arms that the gatekeeper came with and I've got uh, high clearance four link front and rear um, I did chop a little bit too much off of the front end there so I got a little bit of gap in between the bumper and the frame now but uh, that'll get filled with a different bumper at some point like I said I'm I'm still in the, the trial and error phase of this build uh, it's pretty bare bones at the moment but I've got some pretty high hopes for this thing so we'll give her a run and uh, see how it does It's going to be pretty jumpy crawling because of this 1080 ESC that's in here. But that's not what I'm after today. I'm mostly, mostly concerned with the suspension, seeing what I need to do to keep that all in check. Uh, it is pretty windy, so if there's a bunch of wind noise and crackle in the microphone, uh, I apologize. There's not much I can do about that. But I'm uh, I'm on the fence about what to name this thing. Since it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different rigs, I kind of feel obligated to mash up all the names of the rigs and come up with a name for it. Um, if you've got any suggestions uh, feel free to leave a comment i'm definitely open open to some suggestions uh, right now i'm kind of thinking about uh gapro or uh no gapra the gatekeeper and capra axles um if i end up leaving the ecto body on it uh, and I'm maybe Capro. I'm not sure. I'm not the best with names. But I feel like this one's going to be deserving of a name once I get done for it. Suspension seems to be working pretty well so far. Everything's nice and smooth. got this thing lowered just about as much as it can possibly be lowered uh, the frames damn near sitting on the axles at right height and I don't even have any added weight in this thing yet uh, 
definitely going to want to get a little bit of weight on that front axle. Uh, definitely want to get uh, some bigger overdrive gears. I got this gatekeeper on a trade and I didn't get any of the uh, gears or parts that come with them. RTR. So I'm not 100% sure what the overdrive setup is in this Stealth X transmission. I'm assuming it's got the stock six ish percent in it. Uh, but the guy that I got it from is also the guy that I got the base camp from. And uh, they've been they've been gone through so uh, for all I know it could have no overdrive in it um, regardless of what it has or doesn't have it it needs some more I can definitely tell on especially on a real vertical climb that rear end is pushing more than the front end is pulling for my liking going to be hard to get used to finding the lines for this thing. It's running the ecto body and the ecto wheels and tires that it normally has. And this thing drives completely different than the ecto, so it needs it needs to take some different lines, but I keep driving it like I would drive the ecto. <laughs> like the ecto couldn't pull up this far right on that asphalt right there not even close it, the ecto actually has to ride up the tree a little bit to make that but this thing wouldn't ride up the trees there's some pretty big differences here aside from just portal axles and axle width and the fact that that thing just went over this route a good bit right of that nub right there that's pretty amazing i don't have any other rigs that'll do that no way dude i don't have any other rigs that'll straight climb up this either that's got a pretty nasty overhang to it now this is where i'm real curious uh trying to get a good angle here and still be uh, in range to catch it if it goes over backwards but you can see right there the front suspension unloads pretty bad so I'm gonna need I don't think it's gonna make this climb not yet there it is so what I've been doing on most of my rigs, um, just going the cheap route, uh, I'll get some mini bungee cords and uh, I'll just run them around the, where the top links mount to the axle and wrap it up around the chassis somewhere and that'll suck the front end down, keep it from unloading. That's a big old thorn. Holy cow. Look at that monster. I guess my tires are vented now. <laughs> but. Oh, buddy. Man. These hills are treacherous. But yeah, I get a, I get a bungee cord wrapped around there keep that front end down it'll be interesting to see if this will make the the top of hard line uh, before I get overdrive gears I think it's got a chance I'm kind of thinking 
I need to get a get another ESC before uh, I get anything else. This this thing is just jumpy as all get out. No good for slow crawling, at least not for my my preferences, anyways. Too far to the left there. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That sounded a little rough. There's no way it can't make this climb here. I just got to get the right run at it. There we go. That was on me more than the truck. I just took the bad line. I guess we're just gonna go with the uh, one shot style here. Make this a easier video to edit, I suppose. God, I hate this ESC. I guess we'll hit the staircase in the newer obstacle here. I'm not sure, but it really doesn't look like it has uh, overdrive in it. It's hard to tell without putting some tape on the tires. I might have to do that here at some point just to see. Either that or tear the tranny open and see what I got going on in there. Well, at this point, I think that this thing has serious potential to uh, be better than the Ecto. I mean, it's the same chassis, it's the same transmission, but this has portal axles. Potential is there. My driving skills at the moment are not. I think that's because I haven't driven on this with wide axles yet. No. I am really trying to break an axle today, apparently. This is an unfinished uh, obstacle here. All right, let me move this one down and I'll kind of show you what I'm planning here. God, 
This thing is so jumpy. Anyways, so this obstacle here, uh, what I'm planning on is uh, this first section with the suspension bridge. I think that's pretty much good to go. Uh, this next section here, I'm just kind of very shittily framing it out, putting some supports in. I've still got uh, this whole section. Uh, where am I at? There. This whole section here, uh, I'm going to frame it all in about like I have this up here. Um, and then my plan is to just put rocks over the whole thing and uh, have a another elevated rock obstacle uh, similar to this one but this one will be up at eye level uh, i think that'll be pretty cool and then uh, these right here for the exit off of it that's just temporary so i could run the suspension bridge um eventually i'll have something to come down through here to this electric reel and then i'll probably put something down off to the side there to the ground and then this entire obstacle will be multi-directional uh, and eventually i may end up doing something else over on the other side of it as well I don't know. I like having like having the truck up at eye level when I'm crawling. Get a good look at it without having to bend over so far or get down on your knees on the ground and all that good junk. But anyways, back to the task at hand. I just wanted to give uh, kind of an explanation as to what's going on with the obstacle there. Hit that at a bad angle for sure. Normally I'm hitting it from another direction. I got both passenger side tires up on this piece of concrete here. And it's just gonna lift the front passenger side up and tumble over. I need to get passenger rear back down on the flat. There we go. And then I gotta crawl up the corner here. Just like that. I'm really liking the look of this thing. I feel like I'm driving almost the same rig is my ecto which is hands down the most capable crawler i've got but now it's got portals and that thing when i say that thing i mean the ecto it uh it's got no ground clearance whatsoever and this thing that's a whole nother ball game there. I'm gonna try something else that the Ecto can't do. Let's see if this thing can do it. So, the entrance to this little, I don't know, incline, I don't know what you'd wanna call it, but, so, 
normally I would have to come up around these rocks here to get on this shelf and then readjust to go up the incline because of that stair step right there. Um, I think every other rig that I've tried except for uh, the 6x6, they all bottom out on the belly or on the uh, rear links. And unless you bounce it, they just can't make this. So we'll see if the portals and the high clearance links will make it. Okay, one other thing that I am gonna have to do to this is the trailing arm mounts. Hopefully that'll focus. Uh, they still need to be cut off of the sliders. Uh, that's gonna be something that is gonna end up being a reoccurring problem is they're gonna be getting hung up on everything because they are by far the lowest hanging fruit up under this thing now. Wow. That's pretty sweet. And I can stop on the hardest part of this. I'll just take right back off like it's nothing. This is going to be an awesome rig. Legitimately trying to smooth and slow crawl everything here. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I can do that. But, gotta have the right ESC for the job and this is not it. I know there's a lot of people that love their 1080s. A lot of people that hate the ESC 70s, but I've honestly had better luck out of some RTR ESCs than I have had out of this thing. Let's go try the tree and then we'll probably call it a day. I've got some more work to do on this booger. This was kind of a, a rushed first run, but I'm uh, coming up on the weekend here and it looks like the weather is going to be junk. so. After work today was pretty much the only time I had where we was going to have nice weather and could get out here and go for a run. So pretty much just slapped her together right after I got off of work and booked it out here to the pit. Got to imagine this shouldn't be an issue. This is essentially the Ecto's always made it up this, and then it's the drive line from the the race. Essentially, is what I pulled these axles and whatnot out of. And the race was the first one to actually make this crawl when I built the slide over there. Man, not a problem.
I'm very happy with this thing. It's doing very well. I'm sure my camera work here is pretty shoddy today, but I'm more focused on how the suspension's working than I am on how the video is going to turn out. Man, we are putting more holes in my tire. Got thorns everywhere out here. This is getting out of hand. I run when it's wet and muddy quite a bit, so these tires are not vented. And I've got dual stage foams in here. Last thing I need is for them to start getting wet and nasty and falling apart. ever have those times when you think you're done crawling but you just can't stop Let's see if it can hang on to the cliff here oh yeah I think that's a call for a redo. I feel like that was probably on me and not on the truck. Well, I suppose that's going to do it for today. Uh, let me know what you think of my latest creation here. And if you've got a idea for a name, uh, by all means, leave a comment below. Uh, greatly appreciated because I'm, uh, I'm kind of stuck on the name here. It's either going to end up with this ecto body or it's going to end up with a creep body. So it's essentially going to look similar to what it does right now. Uh, if that has any bearing on any name ideas. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I hope.
hope y'all have a good one. I will catch you in the next one. Later.